All right. We are now starting part six of how to make an elevator animation. Do you know what's something missing on the brails? That's right. We're missing the labels. So what we're going to do now is we're going to label the numberings. Before we do that, let's get one more view of the impulse buttons. See, these are the impulse fixtures. Call cancel. Door open. Alarm. Door close. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to add the numberings. Alarm is here. Door open. Alarm. Door close. So let's go to paint now and... Let's start by doing the door open and door close buttons. Start with the door open. Now, to do a door open button, you draw you draw um you draw an arrow pointing right. Uh, not an arrow. This is actually called a triangle pointing right. Like that. Guess I'll move it up just a little bit. And then you add a line in the middle. And then you copy and paste. And here's the door open button. You gotta bigger that a little bit, so let me wide it up. And here is the door open button. Let's see if I did it correctly. Oh, I gotta get rid of that. There we go. Now we got the door open button. An easier way is we just copy that. But we're gonna switch the arrows around the door open to door close. So the door close symbol looks like this. You flip a rotate, flip horizontally, and same thing with the other one. And there's your door close button. The door close symbol, and now the last thing is the alarm button. I don't think uh, I don't think uh, I recorded the alarm noise. Yeah, I don't think I recorded the alarm noise, so I'm not going to be able to push. I am going to push the button but it doesn't do anything because it's not real only on real elevators make that noise now here's the alarm yeah I did this wrong but it'll be okay Well, there's the alarm. Copy and paste. And there's your alarm. See, that's the alarm button. Oh, by the way, um, how about we make a little X, uh, a circle with an X inside, but we have to center it. Center it. So this is some. Um, I have some good idea. Just uh, make some circles that you that until you get all the way close to the middle. Well, almost, but not all the way. Just like this. But we're gonna get rid of them soon. So here is the um, here are the circles. You have to make a lot of circles till you get to the middle. Gonna make it equal. There it is. Yeah, I have a very bad vision problem, so I might make some 
big mistakes. I'm still not there yet, but I am almost there. So, nothing to worry about. Just keep watching this how-to video and we'll be able to finish it right before I go to Las Vegas. What I'll do now, oh, I think we're in the center. So I'm going to draw a little X. The X is like that. That is how it looks like. But let me, let me big it up a little bit. I know how. It's like this. Now, copy and paste. And there you go. I have to bigger the circle a little bit. Got to bigger it just a little bit more. Should be like this. Yeah, I'll get rid of that soon. Like that. All right. So to get rid of that, you have to cut. You have to color it over, and there it goes. Copy and paste, rotate, I mean flip horizontally, and there's that little stop thing that that's for the keyhole, just like you saw in most elevators. Well, a Dover, and all, um, um, the Otis elevator here at my church had that, but I'm not, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I think I saw one of these when I, when I ride on one of the elevators. So, now we got the door open, the stop key. Alarm and the door closed label finished. The next thing now is we're going to do the numberings for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then, last thing, we're going to put the labels on the keyhole. See, let me zoom in so you can see. This up here will be run and down here will be stop. And uh, for this keyhole, this will be off. This will be fire and that will be hold and for the for the um, light switch key that will be on off I mean off goes over here and on goes right there and for the fan I'm not sure if it's either off or on actually I'll put the I'll put the name of the fan like down below so that way I'll put the like a light Actually, light will go up here and fan goes down here. So, um, I think that that will be... So, I might... I'm actually going to say, um, off, medium, high is, um... Oh, uh, I mixed up. It's, a. Uh, it'll be, um, off, low, medium, and high. I think that's how am I going to do it. And for this part will be the independent service key. That will be independent service and that will be group. I'm not sure what group be uh, what group means, but if you know what if some elevator filmers who know what that means like um Diesel Ducey who done uh done an, done a demonstration video of independent service, please leave a comment below and tell me what group means the word underneath the independent service. So what we're doing now is oh by the way let's start making the star so we know that is the ground floor. To make a star, you you make it an upside down four, and then you just uh, copy and paste. There's the star. 
That's going to be for the lobby. That'll be one. We move it just a little bit more, and that is it. So, what we're doing now is we're going to... Oh, by the way, I'm going to put elevator number one, which is up here. So, let me color this gray, and then we'll put the numberings in. We'll do like 22. And then we'll put 1, 2, let me space it, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, let me bigger it up a little bit, just like about to 36. Yep, that's big enough. I don't have to add another one here, so I have to copy and paste. One goes right here, so I'm going to put like elevator number one. Just like the elevator numberings, as you just saw most of them. Now one goes down here. For two, it goes over here. Three goes right here. Four goes right here. Oops, got that cut off. Here goes five. Six. And seven. All right, now we got the numberings down. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Door open, stop key, alarm, and door close. See the button, the elevator button noise does not work here because it's not saved yet. All right, now the last thing we're doing now is we're going to label the keyhole. I mean, label the on off, but first we've got to put the word elevator. So I'll make another text, smaller, just about 10. This is elevator 1. See, this is only like one elevator here in this parking garage. Well, let me first do the keyhole first. Actually, I'll have the smaller just a little bit more. Now I'll put call cancel. Here's call cancel. Let me shorten this. Ooh, I made it too small. Let me big it up a little bit. I would say I'll rather go to 10. Let's see if that is easier. I guess that's how big is it going to get. I think that is better. So there's the call cancel button. Now what we're going to do is we're going to label which side is this and which side is this and which side is this. So I'm going to smaller up just about to 8. And now for the bottom one, which is down here. Run is first, and stop is at the bottom. So we will put it right here. Actually, let me big it up a little bit. There we go. Now we add it just right here. Now here's the run stop, and the key is at run. Now, we're going to do the light key. Oops, wrong one. No, Got to do the text. Light off on. Now the fan. Oops. Off low medium, and high.
The last thing is independent service. And group. All right, now it's time to add them all up. So let's move it over here. Close it together and zoom in. Let's first start with the light switch key. Light goes on top. Off needs to be rotated to like about 270 degrees. Off and on should be rotated 90 degrees. Now here's on. Now there it is. Off, on. Now the next thing is the fan. So fan goes at the bottom. Off should be rotated 270 degrees. Here's off. I'll just put it down here so I'll have more, more room. I'll put low here. Medium and high. 90 degrees. Now the last thing is independent service. And group goes down here. Alright, now we got all the elevator labels done. Now you don't have to save as, just uh, click save and there you go. Here's door open. Oh, let me get let me get this camera in the frame. There we go. Door open. Alarm. Door closed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now call cancel. All right. Now, oh by the way, I gotta light up seven. So I'm gonna turn on the button light. Now you color seven and. Save as. Thirteen. There you go. Now watch this. Gonna go up to seven. And there you go. That would conclude it all. And uh, step seven, I mean part seven, will be the elevator cab design. And part eight will be the floor indicator, and I think, I'm not sure what, when is the final part, but um, I think uh, part nine or ten, I'm not really sure. So, before we stop the camera, just one more thing. I'm not sure if I can hear the fan either low, medium, or high, but if I hear it, then I'll just turn the key to whichever noise it's making. So, I'm going to say now is, that's it.